The carburetor is a heart of internal combustion engine. It is a part of a gasoline engine in which controlled quantity of fuel gets atomized and mixes with the controlled quantity of air and is sent to the engine cylinder. In this training module, you will learn about the working of about the working of a carburetor, types of carburetors, circuits in a carburetor, components and working of BS type carburetors. TPS is used in BS carburetor to achieve smooth achieve smooth throttle response, optimized fuel economy and better feel of power. One of the functions of carburetor is to atomize the fuel and mix the fuel with air and supply air fuel mixture in form of fine spray. The regulated mixture of air and fuel is sent to the cylinder for optimum burning. The carburetor uses the principle of a sprayer. When the piston of the pump is pushed inside, the velocity of air increases and the pressure reduces at the outlet of the liquid reservoir. The liquid in the reservoir is at higher atmospheric pressure. This pressure difference results in the rising of the liquid. The principle of the sprayer is applied here. The air flows in the air passage from the air filter to the engine. The constriction at the center acts like a venturi. The top of the constriction is at low pressure. This causes the fuel to rise and it emerges from the top. The fuel mixes with the air and the air fuel mixture is then sent to the engine. The same principle is applied here as shown. This is explained in details when the working of BS type carburetor is shown. To meet the engine requirements under varying conditions, following circuits are used in a carburetor. Fuel inlet and float circuit. This circuit controls the fuel level in the float chamber. Starter circuit. This circuit helps in starting the cold engine. Pilot circuit. This circuit is used when an engine is running at idling, slow and medium speed. speed. Main circuit. This circuit is used when an engine is running at medium and at high speeds. As the throttle opens, the speed increases. According to the speed at which a vehicle is running, the carburetor uses the appropriate circuit for the delivery of fuel. Classified on the basis of throttle valve carburetor, there are two types of carburetor. One, piston type throttle valve carburetor and two, butterfly slide type carburetor. What you see on screen is a piston type throttle valve carburetor. In this type of carburetor, Venturi size is controlled by the piston valve, which is directly operated by the throttle cable. What you see on the screen is a butterfly type throttle valve carburetor. carburetor. In this type of carburetor, both butterfly valve and the piston valve are incorporated. As you can see, the butterfly slide valve is located after the piston valve and is controlled by the throttle cable. When the butterfly valve is opened, the velocity of gas in the passage increases due to suction of the engine and pressure drops at the venturi area. 
When the pressure drops in the venturi, the pressure in the above chamber of the diaphragm also drops due to the hole provided in the piston valve. Connecting the upper chamber to the venturi, the lower chamber of the diaphragm is at atmospheric pressure. Due to the pressure difference between upper chamber and the lower chamber of the diaphragm, the diaphragm along with the piston and jet needle is lifted up for aligning the required air-fuel mixture. It is clear that the lifting of the piston is controlled by the opening of the butterfly slide valve. The BS type carburetor consists of the following parts diaphragm, lower chamber, upper chamber, spring, butterfly slide valve, pilot jet, main jet, hole in piston, and jet needle. Following are the components in BS type carburetor. Cover diaphragm, spring piston valve, jet needle set, piston valve with diaphragm, float assembly with pin, float chamber, float chamber gasket, pilot jet, main nozzle, starter jet 1, starter jet 2, pilot air jet, main air jet, Butterfly slide, starter plunger set, throttle stop screw assembly, pilot screw assembly, and throttle position sensor. Fuel inlet system and float system of the carburetor consists of float chamber, float, needle valve assembly. The fuel from the tank enters into the carburetor's float chamber by passing through the fuel cock filter and needle valve controlled by the float. As the fuel level in the fuel chamber increases, it lifts the float which starts compressing the spring-loaded pin of the needle valve. After the spring is fully compressed, it closes the passage for fuel intake. Due to any reason, if fuel level rises, fuel will come out from the overflow pipe, drain screw, to remove dirty fuel from the chamber. The butterfly slide is at almost closed condition. By opening the butterfly slide, velocity of the gases increases in venturi area. Vacuum is created at the venturi area. Piston is lifted up due to pressure difference between the lower chamber and the upper chamber of the diaphragm. Controlled amount of fuel is sucked to mixing chamber through the main jet. At full opening of the butterfly slide, piston valve is lifted fully along with the jet needle and fuel is supplied mainly through the main jet. To overcome the difficulty of starting a cold engine, richer mixture is provided through an additional circuit called the starter circuit. The starter system consists of the following parts. Starter cable, starter jet 1, starter jet 2, plunger and spring. When the starter is opened, the starter plunger lifts up from its seat and the air enters the starting circuit through starter air passage. This creates suction to drop the fuel from the float chamber through the starter jets. Finally, the mixture is drawn into the engine through mixture outlet provided in the main venturi near the carburetor outlet. The pilot circuit provides the air-fuel mixture at idling, slow and medium speed. The pilot circuit consists of the following parts, piston valve, butterfly slide, pilot air passage, pilot jet, fuel. You are now seeing how the pilot circuit works when the engine is idling. During idling, 
The air enters the pilot circuit through the pilot air jet located in the pilot air passage and the fuel is fed to the mixing chamber through the pilot jet. From the, from the mixing chamber, the air fuel mixture is sucked into the engine mainly through pilot outlet and supplemented by the bypass ports also. Now you will see how the piston circuit works during vehicles running at slow speed. As the throttle valve opens, the air fuel mixture is fed into the engine mainly through the pilot outlet and the pilot bypass and is supplemented by the main circuit. The main circuit provides the air fuel mixture at medium and fast speed. The main circuit consists of the following parts. Diaphragm, lower chamber, upper chamber, spring, piston valve, butterfly slide, fuel, main jet, hole in the piston and the jet needle. The functioning of the carburetor at medium speed is similar to that of slow speed except that the butterfly slide opens from 1 fourth to 3 fourth position allowing more fuel to enter from the main jet. Air enters the main circuit through an air passage and is controlled by the main air jet. The controlled amount of fuel is sucked into the mixing chamber through the main jet where it gets mixed with the air. Finally, the controlled amount of mixture is fed into the engine. The regulation of the mixture is done by jet needle and the needle jet. The jet needle closes the needle jet when the piston valve is in closed position. As you can see, the butterfly slide valve is located after the piston valve and is controlled by the throttle cable. When the, when the butterfly slide valve is opened, velocity of gas in the passage increases due to the suction of the engine and pressure drops at the venturi area. When the pressure drops in the venturi, the pressure in the upper chamber of the diaphragm also drops due to the hole provided in the piston valve connecting upper chamber to the venturi. The lower chamber of the diaphragm is at atmospheric pressure. Due to the pressure difference between the upper chamber and the lower chamber of the diaphragm, the diaphragm along with the piston and jet needle is lifted up. This generates clearance between jet needle and the needle jet, which results in flow of required air fuel mixture to the engine.